Hi, it's Ramsey Dewey with the JX Fight Club in Shanghai, China, and I'm going to answer another question that I am frequently asked, which is, Ramsey, how do I know when I'm ready to fight, or how how long will it take me before I'm ready to fight? And the answer to that question is, if you have to ask that question, you're not ready. All right, when your technique works, it works. If it's not working in the gym, it's probably not going to work in a fight. Okay, if you don't feel ready and confident in the gym, you you're not ready to fight yet. Now, there's a big difference, a world of difference between what happens in a gym, you know, sparring in the gym and, and fighting in front of a crowd under that kind of pressure, under that kind of combat stress. It's a whole different thing. Boss Rutten gave this excellent analogy that I love. He said, "Imagine you put a, a big two by four down on the ground, you know, just on the floor, and you walk over it, you know, kind of like a tightrope walker, but you know, on a two by four, pretty easy. Most people can do that. But take that same two by four and balance it between two buildings, twenty stories up, and now walk over it." Now it's a whole different thing. Now you've got this, this fear like, oh man, if I mess up, if I take a false step, I'm gonna die. It's kind of the same thing with a fight versus you know gym fights. See, in the gym, you know, obviously there there's this extra level of control. You, you know, you you can you've got an out. You've got a safe, easy out. You can quit any time. Yeah, you can technically do that in a fight, I and mean, you can tap out at any moment, but. You know, it's a whole different thing when you're training with sparring partners that you trust and you know, and you know their style and you know their weaknesses, you know their strengths. It's it's much safer. And obviously, when we're when we're when we are sparring the way we should, again, we are taking extra safety precautions. All right. We're not trying to hurt each other. We're not trying to maim each other. In a fight, totally opposite. You are trying to hurt that other person. Now it's it's not just the level of intensity because again I've seen some guys who spar really really intense more so than they probably should. It's also all that stuff you can't train for in the gym. It's the uh, the performance anxiety. It's being in front of the the crowd, all the noise, the boos, and the cheers. And people shouting things like "kick him in the head." If I was in there, I'd kick him in the head. Stop hugging him. Punch him in the face. Yeah, you'll hear all this stuff. You know, you'll you'll hear the other guy's corner man. You you hear this visceral breathing and shouting and you know, kind of stuff that you don't really get in the gym. Again, you'll get a level of just animal intensity that doesn't exist in the gym. Again, the the lights and the the ring girls and the、uh, yeah, don't get distracted by the ring girls, please. <laughs> again, it's all these distractions you don't have in the gym because again, it's it's a show, it's entertainment for a crowd. And if you're not used to that, again, that can defeat you before the other guy ever lays hands on you. So when will you be ready to fight? Simple answer. You know, okay. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Now, you might say it's kind of like learning how to swim. You got to throw the kid in the deep end, so so we, you know, put him in a sink or swim situation. And I have seen some guys have a certain level of success approaching fighting that way. I mean, that's kind of what I did. I jumped straight into professional fighting, you know, kickboxing from a taekwondo background with no boxing experience whatsoever. But as a result, I got my butt kicked a lot, and I, I suffered a lot of hardships and struggles that I really didn't need to, that could have been avoided with with proper coaching. So, if you are not training. With a good coach at a good training camp, with with good partners、um, that are helping you get ready for a fight, then you're probably not ready for a fight either. Again, if you're trying to do this all by yourself, yeah, you're not ready.、Um, so when you are ready to fight again, you'll want it, okay. But also talk to your coach, okay. 
he, he, he or she should know okay, what, uh, what level you're at, you're at and what level you need to be at. Now, if, if your coach has no fighting experience, that's, mm, that may be problematic. Now, there, there are certain coaches out there who, who are not fighters per se, like you know, Greg Jackson is a great example. You know, he's never fought in the UFC. I, I don't believe he's, he's uh, won any prestigious grappling tournaments himself. He's not the guy that you go to, to, uh, to spar with in his gym, but he's proven himself to be an excellent tactician. Okay. But again, I, I would say that's, that's more the, the rare exception in the fight world than the norm. So if, if you are planning on fighting, you know, talk to somebody who has experience with fighting, okay, and get some input from them. All right, and again, that's probably why so many people ask me, like, hey, Ramsey, am I ready to fight? You've done this before. What do you think? But, but again, one of the first things I tell them is, is what do you think? Now, again, if there's a glaring problem, if this is a person who um, is grossly overestimating, overestimating their abilities, somebody who is going to get hurt if they step into the cage, I'll, I'll tell them, no, you're not ready yet. We need to do this and this and this and this first. Okay? Because, in a, again, I've been there. I've, I've done that. I've made all the mistakes. I've made so many mistakes. And so, again, my job is, as a coach is to help my students avoid those same mistakes that I made. Um, so I do appreciate it when, when, when you guys ask me, am I ready to fight? How will I know when I'm ready? Um, and again, if, if you're somebody that I know personally and you've asked me that, um, and if I've told you something along the lines of, and that risk of sounding dismissive, if you have to ask me that question, you're not ready, you know, that means, that means I, don't see, I don't see a problem. I mean, you could probably jump in there and win a fight today if you wanted to, if, if I'm asking you that question. Now, if you're some random dude on the internet, I don't know. Again, I, I, I don't know you. I, I don't know what your abilities are. I don't know how athletic you are. I don't know how much experience you have. Again, everybody wants a, wants a, a format. They, they want it spelled out for them. Like, when you get a blue belt or a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, then you'll be ready to fight. Or when you have logged this many hours at the gym, you're ready to fight. And it's, it's not like that. Again, some people, they've got to drill a technique one time, and then it's in their muscle memory. Again, that's rare. Most of us have to do it hundreds of times or thousands of times. And some of us, after 10,000, 20,000 times of repeating that, te that technique, it finally starts to stick. So again, everybody's different. Everybody starts out on a different level. Everybody progresses at a different level. So there really are too many variables in that equation to give you a cookie cutter answer like that. Okay. So when you're ready to fight, yeah, you'll, you'll know it. Okay. If, if your performance in the gym is good, again, that's, that's probably a pretty good indicator that you can intelligently defend yourself in a fight. Okay. So, Talk to your coaches. Um, if, if you want some personal feedback from me, you're, you're going to have to send me some, some video, send me a link to, to uh, your fights or your training or something like that. And, um, and I'm not just talking about you like hitting a heavy bag or something like that. I, I get this a lot. Like uh, guys on YouTube in particular, they'll send me a video and say, hey, can, can you give me some feedback? And they'll show, show a video of them hitting a, a heavy bag. And that doesn't tell me anything about how you perform under pressure. That doesn't tell me anything about how you fight. I mean, you, you can have the prettiest looking punches in the world. They can look crisp and beautiful and it doesn't matter because it's not a person. It doesn't move like a person. Okay. So again, if, if you, uh, for, for all of those of you on, on YouTube asking me these questions about your technique and whatnot, I got to see it against a live resisting person. Okay, and that doesn't mean uh, necessarily a uh, full contact fight or anything like that. Just show me how you spar, show me how you train, and I may be able to give you some pointers on how to do it a little bit better, maybe even a lot. 
Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Now, get out there and train, guys.